Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about hemochromatosis. So this comes under chapter 4 for BSc nursing students in the subject genetics. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the topic, hemochromatosis. Hemochromatosis, it is the most common form of iron overload disease. So, here in our body, excess iron will be absorbed in our body. So, it is an inherited disorder that causes the body to absorb and store more amount of iron. So, normally our body will not store excess iron. It will be, the excess iron will be replaced in the body or it will be excreted in the body. But in this condition hemochromatosis, so it is an inherited genetic disorder in which there will be too much of iron absorption in the body. So the extra iron, it is going to damage all the vital organs because this extra iron will be going and it will be attaching to the vital organs. So the vital organs will be losing its function. So there will be damage to the uh, major vital organs leading to organ failure. Healthy people usually absorb only 10% of the iron but in hemochromatosis more than 30% of the iron will be absorbed. So the body has natural way to rid the excess iron. I told no excess iron only no the whatever is needed by the body will be absorbed and it will be retained. So how much ever iron we are going to take excess it will be excreted from the body. But here this mechanism will be disturbed and the excess iron will be built up in the body tissues as well as in the major vital organs leading to damage to the tissues in liver, heart and pancreas. So the major vital organ failure will be taking place in hemochromatosis. Let us see the causes of hemochromatosis. As I have told earlier, the causes are genetic or hereditary hemochromatosis. So here there will be a defect in what gene? HFE. HFV gene, there will be a defect. So this HFV gene, normally it helps in regulating the amount of iron absorbed from the food. But if there is going to be a defect in this HFE gene, so this mechanism is going to be altered so that too much of iron is going to get absorbed from the body. Next, there are two known important mutations in HFE named C282Y and H63D. So there are two mutations that is c 282Y and H63D. So because of these two mutations, you will be having this hematochromatosis that is abnormalities in iron absorption. Suppose if both the persons are going to have um, this uh, defective gene, both the parents are going to have defective gene, then the person will be having this uh, uh, hemo chromatosis and uh, moving on to the epidemiology this is more common genetic uh, disorder in the united states the hereditary hemochromatosis is the most common genetic disorder in the united states so about uh, five people in thousand population will be having this hereditary hemochromatosis because of the defective gene so what gene i have told defective gene hfe that gene will be defective Moving on to the symptoms of hemochromatosis, joint pain because the iron will be deposited in the joint. So the person will be having severe joint pain. Other symptoms include fatigue that is tiredness, lack of energy, abdominal 
pain loss of libido or sexual drive loss of interest in sexual uh, thing and heart problems so you the person will be having extreme tiredness or fatigue due to lack of energy abdominal pain and loss of libido and heart problems the symptoms tend to occur in men between the ages of 30 and 50 years and women over the age of 50 years okay so Uh, the in men the most commonly you will be exhibiting the symptoms around the ages of 30 and 50 years whereas in women around the age after 50 years so how you will be diagnosing hemochromatosis so first you have to diagnose whether there is any family history of arthritis or unexplained liver disease then you have to see the transferrin saturation test this transferrin saturation test only it will be determining how much iron is bound to the protein that carries iron in the blood so the transferrin saturation test will be helping you to determine how much iron has been bounded to the protein so that it can be carried into the blood the total iron binding capacity that is tibc so this total iron binding capacity it measures the amount of iron transported in blood so the total iron binding capacity it will be measuring how much amount of iron has been transported in blood by means of binding with protein next the serum ferritin test shows the level of iron in which is stored in the liver so the serum ferritin test shows the level of iron in the liver next blood test to detect the hfe mutation i told there is a defect in the hfe mutation gene okay so whether this hfe gene mutation is there that you can be identified by means of blood test then liver biopsy to identify any liver diseases next treatment for hemochromatosis treatment is simple inexpensive and safe first what you have to do you have to remove the excess of iron from the body so the process is called phlebotomy where you will be removing the blood and the same way it is drawn from donors at blood banks so you have to remove the blood so from donors no when uh, when you are donating the blood what process you are doing you are removing the blood from your body and you are donating it to other person no similarly the same way you have to phlebotomy is nothing but you are removing the blood from your body so the goal is to bring blood ferritin levels to the low end of normal so when you are removing the blood because most of the iron has been transported in the blood only so when you are removing this excess uh, blood so the iron the excess iron in the body will be removed so that completes your hemochromatosis hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video please give me a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested end card and i card you can watch our channel playlist for more nursing related videos thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel